And the unrest in Ferguson, Missouri. We have water cannons that are aimed towards our water protectors. I saw on Twitter that there's massive protests going on in downtown LA, right in the heart of it. Massive, thousands of people. Tonight, protests across the Bay Area as thousands take to the streets angry. But I can tell you the crowd is very, very energized. Our lives begin to end the day. We become silent about the things that matter. If, if we don't fight, who's going to fight for us? Hi, this is Van Jones. Now, you guys probably see me as somebody who's on TV a lot. I want you to know that I'm not just a talking head. I'm actually a part of a pretty phenomenal organization and a movement called the Dream Corps. Millions and millions of people are looking for some way for us to push back against all this madness. We have the ability to build a massive love army of folks who want a much better future than anything coming out of DC. We don't have to be disillusioned. So many celebrities and artists want to come together. We can have revivals across the country and show the world that those of us who love each other and love this country are still here. We have programs at the Dream Corps and frankly across the country. We have Green for All, which bridges the divide every day between grassroots communities and environmental solutions. We've got Yes We Code, which is bridging the divide between tough neighborhoods and Silicon Valley, creating jobs. And we also have Cut 50, which even on an issue as tough as criminal justice is bridging the divide between Republicans and Democrats. All of this is possible and even more because the vast number of people, even Trump's voters, have not signed on to the worst of his agenda. We have everything that we need to start. And what we need now is for people to come together and help us to build this love army. Our agenda is simple. We want to re-inspire millions of people who do not accept that we should make America hate again.